Today in The Sims 4, we're building an entire fairy village for Winx Club. I have wanted to do this for so long now. I've low-key been waiting for fairies to be added to the game before building this because how cute would that be? The pack comes out, I release this video, and we actually get to fly around in the fairy village. But even I know that I'm dreaming at this point because who knows if that's ever going to happen, so let's just go for it. If you're unfamiliar, Winx Dolls came out in 2004 alongside a very popular Nickelodeon TV series called Winx Club. The club is made up of fairy students who each have their own unique magical abilities and we'll be building our village today for Bloom, Stella, Musa, Flora, Aisha, and Tecna. So this is going to be a very big build. We're building on a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg and each fairy will have their own house included. So it's going to be six houses on this lot in total. This might have to be cut into two videos so I can bring it to life the way that I want to. So today we'll focus on the exterior and then in the next video we'll do the interiors with all their bedrooms and stuff like that. But before I build the shells I want to build a massive butterfly shaped lake right in the middle. I kind of want it to resemble their logo but I don't want it to just look like the letter X so I'm gonna just kind of bring it around. We're gonna be doing some tweaking I'm sure. I guess kind of like that. Let me fill it up with water and see where we're at. So taking the pond tool, we're just clicking until the water gets up to height. Oh my gosh, I really went way too deep with this. I feel like this is like drawing a heart. Like the left side looks great, the right side, ooh, she needs some help. What if we went in and made the antenna? <laughs> just kind of brought them out like this way. I mean, we're getting somewhere. I don't know if it's anywhere good. Okay, this is better. I feel confident about this. And what I wanted to do was have a bridge leading over top going to the other houses. So to build the bridge, we're gonna come in with our platform tool and we'll start out over on this side. I'm just gonna build our platform and then we're gonna build almost like stairs, just layering them one on top of the other. Maybe we'll do about four. And then we're going to extend our bridge all the way over to the other side. And then once we're here, I'm going back in with my platform tool and we're just gonna build our stairs down again. So we'll extend this piece all the way to the end and I'll just keep layering my stairs like that. And to get that bridge effect, we built with platforms but this down here is technically a foundation so that means we can go in with a stilt trim and it'll just be holding it up it even goes all the way down into the water she looks like a bridge i'm using a get famous trim on my platforms and i don't want to take away from our beautiful butterfly shape too much so i'm just going to shrink it a little i want this to be super extra i want to include a fountain in here so i'm just using my fence to bring out the foundation a little we'll have to replace our foundation paint just because things tend to break in this game. <laughs> oh, she is not symmetrical. Just fix that real quick. <laughs> Why did half of my water just go away? This has not been easy so far, but then again, what in life is? I'm going to add a big fountain from the Romantic Garden stuff pack right in the middle. I'm adding a few more platforms leading this way and I'll add stairs leading down. So we'll have different levels to this. It's going to be nice and fancy. And for my flooring, I did a build a little while ago. It was an acid pixel build and I use this flooring and I feel like this could be perfect for our bridge. This is from Get Together. The colors are really pretty. I also like that purple and yellow. So our bridge is complete but now I want to add some details and make it look extra magical. We are going to take these arches from Island Living and I'm going to size them up quite a bit. I'm going to place them right in the middle and then I'm going to do the same thing again but rotate it by one tick. I'm going to do the same thing and then rotate it the other way and then we have this super interesting dome shape going on top and I'm gonna also use these to line the sides so we're gonna have two big ones like going along like this and we'll add them to the other side yeah this is definitely going to be in two parts there's gonna be so much detail on this thing I don't want to rush it like this is gonna end up looking so cool I don't normally like splitting videos up like this but when I have a vision we're not gonna rush <laughs> I don't know if I should put them along the sides like that I think it looks cool just like down the middle for landscaping I'm opening up debug and we're gonna do bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects. We're gonna open up a realm of magic debug and I wanna have these flying orbs just placed all around the bridge. These remind me of little fairies. I don't know why, but I think they're gonna be super cute just surrounding this whole thing. Also from debug, I'm opening up get to work. I'm finding these flying flowers and I'm gonna size them up and I'm trying to get them just above the water. So it looks like that. And then for the rest, 
rest of the landscaping, I'm making sure my grid is turned on, pressing G on the keyboard. We're finding these debug rock pieces, and I'm actually gonna page down into the basement. I'm placing my rocks here and just paging up, making sure they're in the position that I want them to be. And this way they're going to be actually in the water, in the terrain that I just placed, as opposed to me placing it on top and they're just gonna be awkwardly floating there. So with all the landscaping, this is how our butterfly pond turned out. I added some lily pads in the water. We've got some rose petals leading up to the bridge. I added some terrain paint around and we have the flooring leading up to where the houses are gonna go. So now we can finally start building our shelves. I guess I'll start over here. We'll go left to right. So these homes are going to be decently sized. I wouldn't say they're going to be tiny homes necessarily. Their shelves are all going to be similar but different. And I'm going for a fantasy vibe. So they might resemble like little castles. I could see us using the Sims 4 castle kit quite a bit here. And I don't really have an idea of whose is going to be whose just yet. So I'm building all of these generically at the moment. But then once we have them all laid out, we'll actually go in and customize them for each Winx fairy. So I have four of them all laid out. I need to do two more. So we'll have one right here and the other one is gonna have to be on a diagonal over in the corner. All right, all of our shells are in place. I've added some Strangerville fencing along the tops of some of them just to make it easier when we go in later to add the trim. Let's start off our first exterior with Musa. Basically, Musa is the fairy of music with music-based powers. I'll give a more in-depth description of each fairy when we do the interiors, but for a look into her aesthetic, this is what her actual bedroom looks like. So first thing we're gonna do is roof it and we're going in with a hipped roof. And for this part, we're gonna go in with an octagonal roof piece. I'm gonna make sure it covers this area here. And then we're gonna take a half-hipped roof. I'm gonna rotate it so that the edge is facing towards the octagon. And I'm gonna pull it across so it's hopefully going to connect right onto that point. We'll hide the little tail end there right in the rest of the roofing. And then it just kind of seamlessly goes into that point. For the roofing for this, I was thinking about doing a blue metal. We'll have a tower on top of there. And maybe I'll go in with some pink trim for now. I think I want the wallpaper to be dark blue like her hair. And I know fitness stuff has a blue I was thinking of. There's also some brick options. I'm adding my trim around the top. And for fencing, I'm thinking about using Discovery University. But then for our columns, I think I want to use these pink ones here from For Rent. And I think I'll use the matching pastel spandrels on there too. For my door, Strangerville has this white and dark blue color. So I'm going to use that one. And for windows, I feel like these would look really pretty with some of the My Wedding Stories ones. I love the stained glass on them. So I'm going to try it, see how it looks. And then she's always wearing red. So I really want to bring in some red to this. Maybe these flower boxes from Cottage Living. These ones could also be a possibility. Or we keep it super simple with these base game ones. I'm adding details up on the top like these from Get Together. And this is looking cute so far. Let's start to customize the balcony space. So obviously we want the music element to be out here. So I'm trying to find some chairs that'll work from high school years. We could add these two here, maybe with a pink rug. I'm adding a table here and then I want to add a bunch of instruments. So our sim that lives out here can just jam right on their balcony. We'll have a guitar, maybe a couple different types of guitars and a violin. I'm going to add a backpack out here and I really wanted to add some headphones. Obviously, we're going to be adding these on the interior too. I think our headphones are purple, but I don't have those. I guess we'll use these. So we've got our outdoor space on the bottom and then I also wanted to add one up top and I think on this balcony we could add a keyboard. So I'm going to add it just facing overlooking the pond. I'll add a rug and I feel like maybe a beanbag chair or two out here could be fun. Two different areas where you could come out, play some music, relax. We'll also add a speaker on the wall. Maybe we'll add a microphone out here too. Why not? I think we'll do the landscaping all together once it's finished, but this is Musa's house. I really like the colors. I don't think I would have picked those together if I wasn't doing this for her. Like the dark blue, the pink, and the windows. But all together, I think this is looking so nice. All right, let's move on. The next one we're going to do is Stella's. Stella is the fairy of the shining sun, moon, and stars with magical sun, star, and moon abilities. This is what Stella's bedroom looks like for an idea of the aesthetic. So for hers, we are obviously going all orange. I'm using this wallpaper from My Wedding Stories. And I think I'm gonna add my stairs like this since I can't really put it on that diagonal piece. And I'm thinking we bust out the castle kit on this one. I'm gonna add 
had a fence leading on top of my balcony. We'll also add it down below, but then up top, I think I wanna do the roofing just with this fencing here. I'm gonna use these four rent columns again, but this time in orange. And I actually think these are perfect. I love the colors that come with these. An island living spandrel would look so good on top of this. We also need roofing on our towers. So I'm going to be using, again, just an octagon roof piece, but maybe this time with pink roof paint. And then what if we also grabbed a base game fence and I'm bringing it out on top of my balcony just to make like a nice overhang on top. I'm tracing it in this diagonal pattern. And then we're gonna go in with the hammer tool and just delete all the flooring pieces in between. We'll add some trim to hide those white pieces. I am loving this so far. I think we should do a My Wedding Stories door on the outside. And these windows in this swatch with the pink and the red and the orange, these are gonna look so good on here. I also wanted to build hers this way so we could do a rooftop patio. So I'm gonna include a door leading out. And then up here, there are some sundials we could use. Maybe I'll actually put this one on my front porch and we can have another one up here. Oh, these chairs could be cute out here. Maybe we could add a barbecue up here too. We could do like the whole thing for them. We could have some loungers, a table over here. Oh, and actually this four rent rug is gonna look really good underneath the loungers. I'm adding a bunch of plants out here to give it a more tropical look. Maybe I'll use some of the big ones that we don't get to use inside all that often. I'm also gonna bring out some of the jars here as decor, as well as some of these really pretty lanterns from the Oasis Courtyard kit. So up top, we have this super cute hangout area where you could eat, lounge around, get a tan. And this is what the rest of it is looking like so far. Once we do the landscaping, I could see us going in with like sunflowers, even just some big ones like along at the front like this. Again, we're gonna do more landscaping later on, but this is what Stella's home is looking like so far. Okay, let's move on. The next one we're going to do is for Tecna. Tecna, as you could probably guess, is the fairy of technology. She's very smart with technology and digital based abilities. This is what Tecna's bedroom looks like. So for this one, I obviously wanna do like a futuristic, maybe sci-fi kind of vibe. I think for my roofing, I'm just gonna do a hipped roof piece. We'll bring it to the front and then we'll also have the two octagonal roof pieces right at the front. I was thinking about maybe doing like a glass roof like this. Maybe that could work. I wanna keep with the My Wedding Stories windows to keep it consistent, but I was thinking about just using these completely transparent ones from Eco Lifestyle. And then maybe we add on these spotty light strips. I wish this roofing was purple. Like I don't really have the best purple options in this game. This one is definitely the hardest so far because I have the least amount of balcony space on this one, but this one is going to be the most visible from the outside. So I'm thinking when we do the interior, it can be all lit up in there. And from the outside, you're gonna see it. Like I'm thinking we do neon colors. Like even if I show it at night with all the colors lit up up there already, this is gonna end up looking cool. But this one is Tecna's. And next we're moving on to Flora. Flora is the fairy of nature with nature-based powers. This is what Flora's bedroom looks like for inspiration. I think I definitely want to give her a rooftop balcony just like Stella's. So up here, we could add a bunch of plants. This is obviously going to be a very lush build. I'm gonna use the My Wedding Stories wallpaper in pink. We'll do the Discover University fence going all the way around. And we're gonna use these green columns here from for rent on the outside. We'll add the matching green spandrels. And I think I also wanna do maybe one of the green doors. Oh, that cottage living green is so good, but there's not a matching door. So I guess they could do Strangerville green doors. I'm using the same My Wedding Stories windows and we're adding a thick base game trim going along the bottom. We're doing green roof trim. I'm gonna add a bunch of these from Growing Together leading up the side of the house. And then for the rooftop patio for hers, I wanna add some of these pink floral planters. I think I might actually put some plants inside of these so it looks like they're in full bloom. Obviously, this is not how this works, but I want it to look very full. Ooh, our garden looks so pretty. Since it is supposed to be magical, we could add more of the get to work floating flowers. Maybe just a couple of them. We could also do some flying orbs around. This is a magic fairy garden after all. Cute. I also want to add some seating out here so we could do some egg chairs, a high school year's couch. And I think again, I'm just going to use some of the big planters that we don't get to use inside all that often because they're massive. I'm also going to add some flower petals in here. These are from City Living. How pretty is this rooftop garden? We've got tons of area for seating. I love that we're using plants out here that I never get to use, like this high school year's one, the movie stuff pack one. 
and there's spots for gardening and I also added a flower arranging table overlooking the rest of it. On her balcony, I'm just adding more planters along with these cute pink chairs from Island Living. So here we have Flora's house. The lighting on this side is gonna be doing us a little dirty. The sun is totally favoring the other ones over here, but we only have two more to go. We have Asia and we have Bloom. I think we're gonna do Asia's next. And Asia is the fairy of the waves. She has water and ocean-based magical abilities. This is Asia's bedroom for inspiration. So I think I'm gonna keep the My Wedding Stories wallpaper and do this lime green color. She wears a lot of green and also a lot of turquoise. And her house shape is actually very similar to Musa's. So I think I can actually take the roofing that I did and just copy it. I think I wanna use the green columns from For Rent again, possibly with a blue fence. I wanna see how these colors turn out together. Actually, I think this is gonna work. I don't know why, but when we're going colorful, these windows make everything look so much better. I use them on my Mad Hatter build when we did the Ever After High video. I just think they pull it together. Maybe some would disagree. Ooh, maybe some canopies could look good above our windows. So, so far, this is the outside for Asia's, And I know that she also really loves to dance and she also loves sports. So I wanted to put a basketball net, maybe in the back or like near the side. And then she could come play back here. I also really wanted to add a dance floor on one of the balconies. If I can find one that's small enough to fit. I have a feeling if you shrink these, they would still work. But actually this one fits on there quite nicely. We could definitely add like a fun speaker out here. I don't want to add too much on this one because we're already taking up a lot of space with the dance floor. So maybe I'll just add a plant in that corner and then down below, let's add some seating for her. I'm going to use these beanbag chairs from high school years. I'm adding a table there and on top I'm going to add a basketball and we can add a soccer ball. I've also added another high school years couch and I wanted to add one more sports item. I was thinking a punching bag but I don't know if it's going to be too big. Maybe that'll work in there. And then because she is the water fairy, I did also want to add the pond from Get Famous if I can get it in there. So that's going to be right outside her house. We'll fill all that in with landscaping. And this is what Aisha's house is looking like. I really like the colors on this one. I feel like they're so fun. And finally, we have one more to do, which is going to be Bloom. Bloom is the fairy of the dragon flame with fire-based abilities. This is what her bedroom aesthetic looks like. And we are focusing on her the least in this video because I have already done an entire Bloom-based bedroom before on this channel. I think I've actually made her in cast at one point. So I wanted to make sure the other fairies got more love than her, but obviously we have to include her still. Bloom is definitely my personal favorite. I love the blue and the orange of her color palette. I love the fire-based abilities. We're obviously doing blue wallpaper all the way around, and I'm using the same orange columns that I used for Stella's. Okay, so here is Bloom's exterior, and for our details, I think these lights are really cool because in live mode, there's actually a flame that comes out the top. So what if we added those right here at the front? And I'm thinking about putting a fire pit on her balcony. Literally a horrible idea given any other circumstance. <laughs> it's actually way too big anyway. We can't do it. We'll put it out here on this side. We'll get some chairs out here hanging around. And then maybe we can make the balconies just like a cozy, chill spot with pillows. We'll add some of the candlesticks out here. So this is how Bloom's turned out. And as you can see, I'm starting to add some landscaping. So I think I'm going to do the landscaping, finish that all up, and then I'll show you guys once I'm done. So with all the landscaping, being complete, this is what our fairy village ended up looking like. I use these massive debug ruin pieces from Get Together to go around the entire thing to make it look like kind of like a broken fence almost, or a castle wall, should I say. I added tons of trees, sizing some of them up to make it look more grand. Of course, we still have our butterfly pond in here, but this turned out even better than I expected. I'm so happy we're splitting this into two parts so we can really focus on that exterior. Here it is at a different point in the day and let me know which one was your favorite that we did today. I would love to hear any ideas you have for the interiors as well so let me know in the comments and of course if you like this video if you want to see more make sure you like comment and subscribe. The next video coming out after this will be the interior video so stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one.